Alright, with practice and mental preparation, this tutorial will teach you how to air flare. Before attempting this move or any other move, it's always important to stretch out. So I recommend going through a series of stretches to loosen up, that way you'll be more likely to do this move and less likely to get injured. Stretch out your lower body and upper body. Learning air flares is going to require some upper body strength, so that's why I recommend learning and getting comfortable with doing handstands first. Put your hands down like so and push off the ground with your feet, trying to balance on both of your hands. Feel free to use a wall if you need the extra help. Now I'm not saying you have to be able to hold a handstand for like an hour before you can learn to do air flares, but the handstand, what it's going to do is it's going to build you up enough strength that way you won't get injured when you're trying to do air flares or just flop on your face. Alright, now that we're comfortable with that, let's get started with the motions. The kick and sweep. Now I spin counterclockwise, so what you want to do counterclockwise people is put your right hand down first and place your hand with a bit of a twist. That way you're going to follow through with your whole body and not do a 90 so to say on the ground. Alright, watch that carefully. Right hand goes down in the comfortable position. Left leg kicks up, right leg sweeps through. Once again, left leg up, right leg through. Okay, that was counterclockwise. If you're going clockwise, you're going to want to put your left hand down first, pick your right leg up, and then follow through with your left leg. It's pretty much the same thing, just the other way. I'm going to teach the rest of this tutorial in counterclockwise. If you go clockwise, then just think opposites. Okay, now you're going to want to start thinking about putting your other hand down when you come around and transferring your motion to get a whip. Okay, watch in slow-mo. The first steps and then left hand down and whip up with your legs. Alright, don't relax. Keep tight. Be pushing off the ground with your hands. The orange arrow used to be my left leg that kicked up, but it is now going to sweep under. The yellow arrow used to be my right leg that swept under, but is now going to whip up. Okay, an exercise that might help. What you want to do is get low to the ground, kind of like in a footwork type position, and then try and do the, the sweep or the twist. Alright, now before getting the throw, there's a few things you should know. After you do the first steps, and you put your left hand down for counterclockwise people, you want to be sure that your left arm is neither locked out or in, because if it's locked inwards, you're going to lose power. If it's locked out, you might break your arm. Also, be sure that your shoulder is pushing out. You don't want your shoulder to be locked in or over your arm. You want it pretty much straight down, so it looks like this. Okay, if you haven't noticed, I put a yellow band on my right leg to help visually guide you. Alright, you're going to want to be thinking about the throw. After you put your left hand down and sweep through with your legs, when you come over your left arm, you're going to want to let go and let your momentum carry you through along with a body hop. If this scares you, then feel free to attempt it from the low floor exercise like I showed before. Don't worry about catching it right away. For beginners, you want to get comfortable with flying through the air first. Alright, after getting comfortable with flying, you're going to want to start thinking about adding in a body hop, as so. Now when I say full body hop, I mean not just bending and snapping your leg, which it may look like when most people do the air flare, but rather you want to use a little bit of your shoulder, arm, hips, legs, everything. Also take note of the sweeping leg, or the leg that does not have the band on it, my left leg. It sweeps under and kicks up. Okay, a good exercise that will get you used to catching it is getting on the ground and going through the motions as so. Keep in mind, when you're throwing, you don't want to just relax, because when you just relax, you're not going to do it, especially for beginners. Instead, you want to really throw it and be ready to catch. Stay tight. Eventually, you'll get comfortable with catching and still feel like you're in the air after you catch. 
However, if you want to do continuous air flares, you've got to always be thinking about doing multiple air flares. Doing continuous air flares, your hand's going to come back down and you're pretty much going to repeat the previous steps over and over. It is also important to find the sweet spot for your hop. For me, my sweet spot is when I'm just a little bit over my arm. That's when I jump. Then I quickly place my right hand down and repeat. Also, take note that when I put my right arm down, it's neither locked in or out, but rather it's straight. Now, if you're just beginning to get continuous air flares, it might look something like this. This is great. Keep practicing. And eventually, you'll get more and more. When doing continuous air flares, you may find it necessary to adjust hand positions and whipping motion on the go in order to sustain optimal height and momentum. So keep practicing, don't give up, keep trying to do multiple air flares, and subscribe to Pygmy123. It'll make me really happy. Thanks a lot.